knows how you come across somebody once in a while you, you shouldn't have messed with. That's me. Well, I'm back down. I am not an African-American. You're an Oreo cookie. White in the inside and black on the outside. I don't have an Afro. I have an Amerifro. Talking that idiotic stuff you talk about, I will slap you. Go ahead. Make my day. Black at the ace of spades, but 100 100% American. Heard around the world by everybody and their mama. The Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show. Okay, welcome to the third hour of the show. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Thank you so much for being with me. I absolutely appreciate it. Uniting the races with truth instead of dividing them with lies. We also rebuild in the family by rebuilding the man. Um, this whole deal with uh, George Zimmerman and Trayvon Martin, it's unfortunate. On one hand, it is that these black, racist, godless, liberal, democratic people are trying to use it for their own personal gain. I've said over and over again that most black Americans are brainwashed and they don't know it. They're in a trance and they're being kept in that trance with this one word. And that word is racism. And that's why you don't see Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, or these young so-called liberal people who are getting involved with this mess. Uh, you don't see them out there when it's black on black crime or black on white crime because they can't use that word racism. And in that way, they have they don't have the word they need to put other black people into that trance and get them to go and do whatever they would want them to do. They can only use the word racism to do it. And then plus, black on black crime doesn't pay. You can't get anything out of that. You can't get anything out of it when it's um, black on white crime. It's only when it's white on black crime for these people. And these so-called rallies that you see happening uh, around the country is nothing but a scam. That's all that it is. And I've said over and over and over again that most, not all, but most black people are racist. And this is another example of that. If these black people cared about really cared about life, they were organized and rally around black on black crime. I told you about what happened in Chicago. Ten people dead in the same neighborhood, including a six year old child, black child and 39, 36 others wounded. These people didn't show up. And uh, when they had the black on white mob mentality where these thuggish black children running around the country, Philadelphia, Chicago, Cleveland, Milwaukee, and other places attacking white businesses and white people, they didn't care. They didn't show up because they could not cry racism. When uh, Eric Holder refused to prosecute members of the New Black Panther Party for voter intimidation. And these people were on their way to jail. Those people were on their way to jail under President Bush, but he left office before the case was completed. And Eric Holder threw it out. We had a whistleblower who said that Eric Holder only wanted to prosecute uh, white on black crimes, not black on white. Remember that? There was a witness who saw Trayvon on top, according to this report, of George and said that it was George who were crying out for help and not Trayvon. We were not there, but they don't care about that information. And George Zimmerman's best friend, one of his good friends at least, uh, who happened to be a black man, said that Zimmerman was weeping for days after the shooting. They don't, these godless so-called black leaders don't care about that. And this report came from uh, ABC News. George Zimmerman's friend said that the voice howling uh, for help on the phone, 911, uh, 911 tape, is Zimmerman, not Trayvon. They don't care about that. This is an opportunity to get back at white folks. And also, you have to remember, this is the, an election year. And Florida is very important during this year, this election year. They're trying to keep Barack Obama in the White House. And I'm going to play a soundbite for you. Uh, speaking of Obama, he got involved in the conversation as well. And I think he acted stupidly. Obama did. The new Black Panther Party has offered $10,000 reward to bring Zimmerman in, dead or alive. Is that legal? Can you do that? Where are the protesters against this? This is evil. And white folks, I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times that you better get over your fear because they're going to push you in the corner and push you in the corner and push you in the corner. And then you're going to come out fighting and it's going to be in the wrong way. And then they're going to say, see, I told you there's racism. Speak up now. 
before you have, you're forced to do it and you do it in the wrong manner. This is about black racism. This is about keeping Obama in the White House. This is not about, this is about gaining power and wealth. It is not, and I repeat, it is not about Trayvon. It is not about trying to get justice. It's about reverse racism. And I saw at least one of the parents of Trayvon with Al Shopton. When I saw that, I just rolled my eyes. This guy's supposed to be a mourning, the father and the mother. They were not together. They're not together, by the way. Uh, they're supposed to be in mourning, and they out protesting with wicked people like Al Sharpton. What does that tell you? And then they found out that uh, Zimmerman is not a white man. He's a Hispanic. Now they're saying, oh, he's a white Hispanic. They got to have that word in there. They got to have that word white because that's what put black folks in a trance. These racist black people are coming out of the woodwork. They're crawling out of their rat holes. Roland Martin opened up his show with an open statement by saying that, and he said that uh, we are tired. We are tired and we are sick and tired of being tired. And he said, now we are at war. We are at war against racism. If you can't see what's going on, even Louis Farrakhan went as far as near that line of calling for a, a race war. He didn't quite say it, but it was enough to get the message. And this doesn't matter that Zimmerman's black friends have come out, at least one for sure, in support of Zimmerman, Zimmerman saying that he's not a racist. The man is hurting. He was self-defense. He was it's not what the people are saying. That doesn't matter to these people at all because it's not about justice. It, Roland Martin, in his wickedness, said, we are at war against racism. But let me quickly play what oh, the fallen messiah he got in on this thing, too. Here's Obama. But obviously, this is a tragedy. Uh, I can only imagine what these parents are going through. Uh, the parents are all out there with when I think about racist. Uh, this boy, uh, I think about my own kids. What does that and mean? I think about my own kids. Now, if I read between the lines, he is saying that his kids are black, and he is implying that blacks are under attack. This could have happened to his children. When this incident happened, I did not think of my children. You know, I think every parent in America should be able to understand why it is absolutely imperative that we investigate every aspect of this. Wow. And that everybody pulls together, federal, state, and local, uh, to figure out exactly how this tragedy happened. I don't agree with you on that, Obama. I don't think everybody and their mama need to get involved in this. I, need, I think the local authorities need to investigate, and apparently they have done that. This is one incident. Where is Obama? Why is it that he's not speaking out about the black-on-black black crime? What's happening in Chicago? He's acting stupidly right now. I don't know, not having been there and not seeing all the facts, what role race played in that, but... I think it's fair to say, number one, any of us would be pretty angry. Number two, that the Cambridge police uh, acted stupidly in arresting somebody when they, there was already proof that they were in their own home. This man is a racist, folks. I've said it and I'm saying it again. We got a racist in the White House. We have a racist in the White House. And I'm being told that they wear these stupid hoodies in churches. Hundreds of students at several South Florida high schools stage walkouts Friday morning in a massive protest against the lack of an arrest in the Trayvon shooting. The schools that participated, Miami Central, Miami Edison, Miami Northland, American Senior, and William H. Turner High, and more schools— they're not staging walkouts with black-on-black black crime. They didn't stage walkouts when the mobs were attacking white folks, when a little kid, white boy, had gasoline thrown on him by two black boys, and they said, you deserve this white boy. This is hypocrisy. This is about something else, folks. And it's not about justice for Trayvon. Uh, so I'm glad that not only is the Justice Department looking into it, I understand now that uh, the governor of the state of Florida has formed a task force to investigate what's taking place. Uh, I think all of us have to do some soul searching to figure out how does something like this happen. And that means that we examine uh, the laws and the context for what happened, uh, mm -mm -mm. as well as the sp uh, specifics of the incident. What a bunch of... 
This man is acting stupidly. I'm coming straight back to the phones, folks. I appreciate your patience. I needed to get that off my chest. I want to wake up America. America is in trouble. My country is in trouble. 888-775-3773. But my main message is, is uh, to the parents of uh, Trayvon Martin. You know, if I had a son, he'd look like Trayvon. And, um, you know, I think they are right to expect that all of us as Americans uh, are going to take this with the seriousness it deserves and that we're going to get to the bottom of exactly what happened. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you. What a shame. You know, I I just realized right now that Barack Obama is really catering to the black votes right now. That's what this is about. I'm sure he agrees with him because he's a racist himself, I believe. But he's catering to the black votes. That's why he's getting involved in this, too. I just realized that, especially down in Florida, because he needs all the help he can get right now. But this is the type of man you have in the White House. And these are the type of people that are controlling black folks. And this is why God said we should not have physical leaders. Christ should be our leader, not some man. They will lead you straight to hell. Obama's wrong in what he just did Well, when he made this response. He acted stupidly. Okay, folks, you've heard it. You heard it here first. Obama acted stupidly. My country is in trouble. Take a stand in the right way. Back tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in and calling in. Have a good day. This has been the Jesse Lee Peterson Show, produced by Bond, Brotherhood Organization of a New Destiny. Views expressed by guests and callers on today's program may not necessarily represent the views of the station. For more information, call 1-800-411-BOND. That's 1-800-411-BOND. Or visit our website at bondinfo.org.